Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Kyle, also known as Xcod Code 22, and today we're doing a little video, uh, another update on my Breaking Bad Hunger Games. Honestly, I did not do really much. I actually started on the city party, which I would like to show you, but I'm planning on finishing this map uh, this weekend, probably next weekend, because I have company and family over, so pretty sure that's going to interfere. I've been kind of like, I, I've been kind of, kind of delaying this map a little bit. I just got out of school, so I just wanted to, you know, spend some time with friends and stuff. Uh, so we got over here, you guys saw this, we're not going to be going over the desert. Um, cause I, I pretty much, I, I didn't really add anything new to the desert. I added some, like, terraforming and stuff. Uh, but we got some part of the city done, and I'm gonna show you guys my plans for the whole city. Uh, maybe you guys can recommend some stuff, and, uh, I'm gonna, I worked on some of the walls a little bit. I'm gonna probably make them a little higher. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm gonna actually do it. I'm gonna take down that sign soon. Cause I, I don't know, it just doesn't look like the BA, like it's not... It's not some met. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't like the look of it. I'm gonna make it better, and I'm probably gonna make like a spawn pad or something. The only problem about spawn pads is when you spawn up there. I don't know. I might just keep it down here because I already have a rule board set up too down here. So I might just have them spawn here. I don't really care. But uh, we got that. Uh, those are some of the rules right now. There we go. I put the no Simpson skin because I just can't stand that. I'm probably gonna put a deathmatch area too. I might put it like outside the map. Um, but I'm not. I'm not sure yet. I, I really am not sure. If you guys want me to do deathmatch area, I will gladly do some. Um, I'm not sure if I added anything new to the desert besides some terraforming. I'm still going to make it a little better. We're going to right here. I don't think I explained this last time, but this right here is going to be something like this. Like right here, so it separates the city from the desert. This is going to be a little area. Uh, so I decided to make the little city a little bit. Um, I'm planning actually just to take this road away because it's going to have the laundry area just right over here. The giant laundry uh, place. And then I'll have... I'm not sure, honestly. I might make it, uh, I'll just put, like, trees or something here. I was gonna put the car wash somewhere, but I don't know if I can do that now, honestly. I might put it, like, right over here or something, but what I was gonna plan on doing is, uh, this would be kind of, like, the, the development area. That's where everybody will live. This was gonna be, like, a, right here, I was gonna make a cul-de-sac, and I'll have Hank's house somewhere over here if I can fit it. I'm trying to still lay out some stuff, and then over here, we're gonna have, like, Walt's house, we're gonna have, uh, Jesse's house. Uh, Jane's house or something somewhere over there, uh, but I'm slowly trying to build this and I'm just gonna try to put a, as many buildings as I can because I wanna I want there to be a lot of chests I was actually gonna plan on putting like a little small mountain or something here to separate this area because I want more mountains And more places just for people to climb up on because this map is uh It honestly is kind of small because it's not like there's not a lot of houses uh, Around the map and I'm not sure how I'm gonna lay out the chest. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure that out myself uh, but let's take a look at some of the buildings I just built. Uh, these still need some work. I need to put more extra detail into them. I actually, honestly, really just made these. Um, I made these, I would say, both of these in the, within an hour, honestly. Like, just this whole land uh, and everything. So, uh, honestly, it's looking pretty good, at least on the inside. The outside needs a little work, though, some detail. So this is uh, the restaurant that Gus owns. Or, yeah, he owns the location of the Los Polos Hermanos. I think that's how you pronounce it. And inside, we get this little uh, area where everybody can sit down, enjoy themselves. I'm probably going to add more chairs and stuff, but I'm not sure. Got the little got the little uh, counter over here. Could jump over if we wanted, or we could take the door. We got this little office, which we kept the dark because normally Gus's dark uh, office is really dark. I might add a window in there uh, because he likes to sit in there and just uh, spy on people. He's a little creep. Um, and then we're gonna come over here. Yeah, I don't have any land or anything over here I'm not sure what I'm gonna put over here yet. Uh, there's not honestly no, not much room to put anywhere. I just put some like This is supposed to be like graffiti. This is supposed to be like a uh, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys we're back, but uh, this is supposed to be like an alleyway uh, in a way So uh, I don't know. I just put some like graffiti up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that down probably now this area is better called Saul, like where Saul office is. I'm gonna make this bigger. I honestly do not like this at all. I'm trying to find a better solution to this. But basically you come in here, it's like the waiting area. And then, then this is Saul's office right here. It's, this is why, I don't know. I, I don't know, I'm not liking this so far. It just feels kind of small. I'll make this, I might make this a little bit uh, bigger. And then I just added another store, like this random dentist uh, place, just because, you know, there's other stores in the lot. And I don't know what else to put. And there's supposed to be a Statue of Liberty up there, but I don't know. I don't know how to make a Statue of Liberty out of blocks. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to put that. But honestly, that's really it. But I'm going to tell you guys what, again, what I'm going to lay out. So this road, I'm going to probably take away. 
launcher's place is just gonna go around here. I'm gonna try to make it close to this wall as possible. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make like a gravel road going down, sort of, and then, I don't know, I think it might be just that hill with the laundry on, I don't know, I'm honestly not sure yet, but the laundry has an underground meth lab that's basically Gus's little hideout place. So I'm gonna put that over there, and I was thinking over here we're gonna have just the development, or cul-de-sac, the Hank's house somewhere over here as well, some other houses people can just go into. I'll probably have a separate road going off this way, I'm hoping. I was gonna have this go ro road all the way down, and there'll be three different roads going up, the street one road will be um we'll have jesse's house one will have uh walt's house and then one will have uh the you know jane's house and where jane used to live now she's dead um but uh and then i'll probably just put the uh car wash or something over here because i really want to implement the car wash because that would be pretty sick uh this it's a problem the problem is like just having enough room to put all this stuff into one map i could have made this map a little bigger uh it's just honestly like i don't know i'm trying to fit as many things as I can into this map I want to. If you guys have any suggestions what I should put, uh, the desert is, I think the desert is uh, uh, honestly looking pretty nice. I did add a couple things. I think I had some. I did add this tunnel. I did add that. I did add this underground uh, meth lab where uh, in one of the episodes uh, you come in, it's like a bus and that girl, whatever, comes down here and uh, all those other people shoot up. I, don't, I forget all their names. They, all, they shoot up all those people. So we got that. I'm just trying to add some things. I might have a couple more things to the desert. I still have Tuco's house because I, I still got to work on the inside of it. I'm not done with that yet. I gotta. Add, I want to add something over here, but I want to make it like... I don't want to make too many things in the desert area. You know what I mean? And then I'm not sure if I showed you guys this. I kind of forgot. This is where, uh, you know, uh, Walt's money is held and Hank, uh, yeah. All right. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all we got so far. Uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, if you go to the ground level, it looks a lot, like, bigger than that. Like, when you, when you go, when you go above, it looks really small, but, and honestly, it's pretty big when you're on, when you're, when you're actually playing it. I just realized that, so. Honestly, I think it's looking really nice so far. <clears throat> I still gotta add some detail uh, to those buildings over there. But other than that, I don't know. I think it's looking pretty good. I want to know what your guys' opinions are. Comment down below. Um, I, I just want I just want to know some suggestions. If you guys seen the show Breaking Bad, and just what stuff, what else should I put around the map? All right. So uh, we're gonna do a little overview of the map so far. We're gonna fly up, and I'm on PS3 right now, by the way. So the rider distance is kind of short. So I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Again, comment down your ideas. And uh, if you guys are not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to keep updated on this Hunger Games map, as well as uh, just so you guys can check out some of my other videos that I post. Uh, and I bring you guys a lot of Minecraft content, and I know a lot of people enjoy that. So I uh, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.